what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 81,000 subscribers, and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so you can follow me on all of those. And as you guys know, I recently started a Facebook account, so you can add me on Facebook, and we can be Facebook friends. Friends, so go do that link is in the description and finally be sure to turn on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you but Once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video and today we are talking about another urban legend Now this is another urban legend similar to the one about the Hello Kitty that I made some months ago. It was probably even over a year ago. Now, if you guys remember that, it was uh, a story called, like, the the dark truth behind Hello Kitty, and it's it's basically me talking about um, the story about how Hello Kitty came to be and what it really stands for, the symbol of the kitten, stuff like that, and it's, it's pretty creepy. It's not true, though. I've got to tell you guys that. It is not true, but this is one that's similar to that. But this urban legend is called Pico Chan. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be pronouncing things right in this video because it is based in Japan, so there is probably going to be some things that I pronounce wrong, but I'm pretty sure you guys will let me know. Um, but yeah, it's called Pico Chan, hopefully. I don't know. So, Pico Chan, this is an urban legend about a mascot that is actually used on candy. It's a company in Japan and it's the mascot for that. Now this brand of candy is called Milky. So Pico Chan is the name of this little girl. She's like a little girl and she's used on the most popular brands of candy in Japan, which is Milky, like I said. And um, apparently it is just the most popular thing in Japan. Like you can see her on the front of stores. You can see her on like the packet the packages of every single candy there is in Japan. So we're talking about a really popular, you know, symbol, some a really popular logo. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's get right over to the story. Pico Chan. Pico Chan is the mascot of a Japanese company called Fujia, which produces candy called Milky. The company's slogan is Milky Tastes Like Mama. Pico Chan is a young girl with chubby cheeks, pigtails, and a red ribbon in her hair. She is always seen with a big smile on her face, licking her lips. According to the urban legend, the real story behind Pico Chan is very disturbing. They say that Pico Chan was modeled on a young girl who died during World War II. The girl was named Pico and she was six years old. She lived with her mother in a small Japanese village. During the war, there was a tremendous food shortage in Japan. The mother and child were starving and there was nothing to eat. They had to drink muddy water just to stay alive and gnaw on grass and the roots of trees just to keep their hunger at bay. Pico's mother couldn't bear to see her daughter suffering, so she took a knife and cut off part of her own arm and offered it to Pico to eat. Pico-chan had never tasted anything so good in her life. Afterwards, she couldn't forget the sweet taste of her mother's flesh. She proceeded to kill her mom and eat her mom's entire body. Consumed by the taste of human flesh, Pico-chan continued life as a cannibal. They say that the reason her tongue is out is because she's licking her mother's blood off her cheeks. The name of the candy is Milky, but when you rearrange the sounds, it becomes Kill Me, which were her mother's final words. That's also why the slogan of the company, when translated from Japanese, is Milky Tastes Like Mama. 
the Fujia Company also has another mascot named Poco Chan. He is a young, smiling boy who always wears a blue hat. He is said to be Pico Chan's boyfriend, Poco Chan. According to the urban legend, Poco was a seven-year-old boy who lived in Pico Chan's neighborhood. After devouring her mother, Pico Chan was still hungry. She attacked Poco, breaking open his skull in order to eat his brains. Poco was in such pain that he bit off his own tongue and swallowed it in an attempt to commit suicide. They say that the reason Poco Chan never has his tongue out in the picture is because he doesn't have one. And the reason he always wears a blue hat is to hide his broken skull and exposed brains. And that is the end of that. Now, I like this. I really do. I think this is another one of those cool stories. I like when people make up these urban legends. I'm pretty, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm pretty sure it's not true. But I really enjoy when people use like a company logo to make something like really dark out of it. I don't know why, even though it's not real, I think it's really, really cool to do something like that. The way people must think of these things, like the Hello Kitty one was really cool with the horns, like the ears on this kitten were supposed to represent the devil's horns and the reason it had no mouth was to represent the little girl who died of mouth cancer. Oh no, she didn't die of mouth cancer, she was saved by the devil. And I just thought it was really cool. And this is very similar to that, like I said, I think it's really cool that people are actually like, they have enough time on their hands and they're creative in the mind enough to come up with something like this over a company logo. I just think that's so, so cool. I wish I could do something like that. Or maybe I will. But yeah, guys, if you didn't see the uh, the video I posted about the Hello Kitty, um, it was a pretty popular video. I didn't expect it to be that popular. Um, but that was a really good video and I really enjoyed that story. So I just suggest you guys check it out. If you type in, what shall we do next? And uh, Hello Kitty, it will, it will come right up. It, you'll see it, don't worry. But it would be pretty disturbing if this was like a true story. If like these logos, like you hear all about conspiracy theories and like the Illuminati and there's a reason behind everything. Like if you see a company that's like a big corporation and it has like a, a triangle as, as its logo, everyone's like, they're Illuminati confirmed. I just think people are overthinking things like that. I don't believe it's true. I just people think people believe it. Like they hear stories like this, for example, and they believe it. I mean, I don't honestly know if this is true or not. Hopefully not, because uh, that'd be pretty messed up. But uh, hey, but I'm thinking maybe I should do like a series on this. Maybe I should like find out more like companies that everybody in the world knows and see if there's urban legends out there about them. See if they're like really cool, like this one, for example. And I'll try and do a series on that. Like, I think that'd be really cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And also let me know if you've seen any other stories like that, like any stories like this, where it's about like a company and it's like the dark truth behind this company. Um, Cause I really like, like I've said to you guys, sometimes I get bored of just posting videos like every day. But then when I s see things like this, this is stuff that I actually find interesting. And like, I really enjoy when I read about it and it's, it's cool. I don't know. I just, I love this type of story. So if you guys know any stories and you want to recommend them to me, please let me know and I will check them out and uh, I'll see about doing them for a video. But my question to all of you for question of the day is, do you believe this is a true story or not? Do you just think it's just one of those, like I said, like somebody with a really creative mind has come up with this urban legend about a company or do you believe that it is true? And it was in fact like based off this little girl who, you know, who became a cannibal during the, the war, the poverty over there in Japan. Let me know what you guys think. That is question of the day. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please slap a like on it. Let's see if we can go for 58 billion likes on this video. I feel like I say 58 a lot. I just, usually I just try and say the first number that comes to my head. Let's just say something different, like 23 billion likes. Come on, I'm making it easy for you guys today. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys didn't see my previous video, which was about like the Japanese version of a Ouija board, which was called something like Kakuri Sun. And uh, it's basically similar to the ja like a Ouija board, but it's a Japanese version. And you welcome in this one and only spirit, which is like, 
it's not as harmful as the Ouija board. So you could play it, you can play it. And I pretty much teach you how to make this board and stuff like that. And you're only welcoming, welcoming in one spirit. So you're not in any danger of being possessed and you can ask it questions about your future and stuff like that. And it's, apparently it knows the answer, but it is notorious for lying. So just be careful if you do decide to play it. And if you are interested in that and you didn't see yesterday's video, wait till the, uh, the end screen comes on, the outro, and you can click it right about here and it will take you straight over to that. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all. Peace out. Remember not to let anybody bring you down. Be happy, be positive, and I'll see you guys back here for another video tomorrow. Peace out. I love you all.